The weak crown prince was supported by someone and sat below his majesty at the royal court. His face was deathly pale, and the corners of his mouth were raised as he gazed at the great hall. He was the son of his father. Even if his cultivation was crippled, even if he had some special killing habits, because his father was Li Huanjuan, he could still be the most respected person in the country. He could still sit here and look down on the officials. Family affairs are state affairs. These are the candidates for the princess consort. The crown prince is honorable and can marry one princess consort, two side consorts, and three concubines at once. The name list was handed over. The crown prince casually scanned the list and found that it was the same as the information he had received. The candidates for the princess consort on the list were all daughters of aristocratic families in the northern kingdom. Not only were they beautiful and talented, they had extraordinary family backgrounds. For example, the father of the princess consort candidate was an eighth-grade martial artist and held a huge military force. Her brothers all had military power, and one of them was a seventh-grade garrison general in the wilderness. The side consort's maternal family was also the head of the civil officials and had the strength of a peak eighth grade. Their disciples were spread all over the court, and they were not to be underestimated. What he wanted to do was to marry these women and tie their families to his war chariot. Even if he had no cultivation and became a cripple, as long as he knew how to weigh the pros and cons and control a few women, he could use them to control the power behind them. His father had made a good move. Your Majesty, this is the candidate for the prince consort. Among them, there is an older ninth grade martial artist who is the most outstanding. Someone had presented the candidate for the prince consort. The person who was at the top of the list was a martial artist in his 60s, a ninth grade martial artist. Such an old martial artist clearly showed that it would be difficult for him to advance to the martial saint realm in this lifetime. He might as well enjoy the prosperity and wealth of the world. It was naturally good to be able to marry such a delicate wife like the princess. Bring it up. When Li Huanjuan declared the imperial decree, he had already expected this result. Since Zhao Yang was the princess, she naturally had to be used for marriage. Back then, the female martial saint had come in a strange manner and left suddenly. Li Huanjuan had an uncontrollable feeling in his heart. If he could not use such a martial saint, then he would use the princess to marry a ninth-grade martial artist. A martial saint and a few ninth-grade martial artists were enough to deter many thieves. As a princess, Zhao Yang had to have the awareness of being a princess and properly assist her elder brother. Letting her husband be used by the crown prince and the northern kingdom was the right path. Princess Zhao Yang has arrived. A duck-like shout startled everyone in the court. Wasn't Princess Zhao Yang grounded? Wasn't she not allowed to leave the princess's residence until the prince consort was chosen? Why did she come out? Wasn't the leader of the guards guarding the princess a seventh-grade martial artist? He even had an imperial edict in his hands. Why couldn't he stop the princess? The crown prince snorted coldly, feeling extremely displeased in his heart. He thought that he would not be able to use this seventh-grade martial artist in the future. He was probably already subdued by the princess beauty and had been taken in as a servant under her skirt. The princess, who was dressed in a purple robe with golden threads embedded on it, walked towards the palace with an unparalleled aura. Her face, which should have belonged to her young age, appeared abnormally calm in front of all the officials. She looked at the sickly fourth prince, who was sitting on the crown prince's seat and was about to lie down, and once again steeled her resolve. After saluting his majesty, she stood up and walked towards the seat opposite the crown prince. At this moment, the hall was dead silent. Because when Princess Zhao Yang came in, everyone saw the veiled Hu Jujio. The originally charming Hu Jujio made Li Huanjuan, who was sitting at the highest seat, unable to sit still any longer. He hurriedly led the crown prince and his subjects down to Kowtow. The emperor of the northern kingdom, Li Huanjuan, greets you. Supreme Martial Artist, may I know why you are here? Li Huanjuan started to panic. The Martial Saint should not have suddenly appeared in front of everyone. She should be in the dark. It would be best if he acted on her behalf. Otherwise, if everyone only had the Martial Saint in their eyes, how could anyone truly respect him, the Emperor? Hu Juju didn't say anything. She only glanced at Li Huanjuan and then at the ministers in the court. Most of them were seventh grade. 
and only one peak ninth grade eunuch was bowing to her. As for the others, they were all kneeling on the ground. Only Princess Xiaoyang and Li Huanjuan were standing there. There was also a crown prince who was supported by someone and was also bowing to her. Hu Jujiu didn't say anything, but her aura was rising steadily. The old eunuch who was bending over felt like his spine was about to break. He really couldn't take it anymore and knelt on the ground with a plop. Although the difference between the peak of the ninth grade and the martial saint was only one level, it was like an insurmountable chasm. The difference was too great. Li Huanjuan panicked even more when the old eunuch knelt down. He also knelt down in a hurry. Whether the northern kingdom could stabilize or not depended on the protection of the martial saint. He did not know the background of this martial saint. It was best to be respectful and not anger her. In the entire hall, everyone knelt down except for Princess Zhaoyang. However, the crown prince was still being supported by someone. He wanted to kneel but hesitated. In the next moment, he felt his entire body being lifted up. Then, from the crown prince's seat, he was thrown into the main hall like trash. Everyone kneeling was stunned. Some people peeked at Princess Zhaoyang and remembered that the martial saint had followed the princess in. They didn't know if this was the princess's idea or the martial saint's. Princess Zhaoyang didn't say anything and acted as if she didn't see anything. Under everyone's gaze, she walked to the crown prince's seat and sat down before waving at Hu Jujio. Come here and go to the back. That's my fourth brother. Don't kill him. Princess Zhaoyang's words, as if she was ordering a servant, made Li Huanjuan furious. Just when he was about to reprimand Zhaoyang for not being rude, he saw that the female martial saint had actually walked behind Zhaoyang without saying anything. Everyone in the court was petrified and stunned. God, what did they see? Behind Princess Zhaoyang stood this female martial saint. They thought back to the situation back then. Wasn't Princess Zhaoyang's residence where this martial saint knelt? For a moment, the atmosphere in the hall became very strange. At this time, Princess Xiaoyang saw the two memorials on the table. One of them was the prince consort chosen for her. She sneered and directly tore the memorial into pieces under everyone's gaze. Father, I feel that the marriage of the crown princess should be more cautious. Therefore, it's better for me to decide who to marry in the future. She had brought Hu Jujio to stand behind her. She did not believe that her father would dare to go against her wishes. Didn't her father always sacrifice her for the sake of the country? She wanted to see how her father would choose now that the martial saint was standing behind her. Without the support of the martial saint, the northern kingdom was like a rootless duckweed floating on the water. The duckweed could disappear at any time when a wave attacks. Li Huanjuan had always placed the greatest importance on the empire of the northern kingdom. Thus, when he stared into Princess Zhaoyang's eyes for three breaths, he took a deep breath and quickly made his decision. Everyone has seen it. This is the martial artist paragon's intention. We will announce to the world that Princess Xiaoyang is the crown princess. Li Huanjuan's words were like a sudden clap of thunder. The fourth prince, who had been thrown to the ground, was stunned. He shouted at his father in disbelief. Father, you can't. There has never been a crown princess in the northern kingdom. Xiaoyang is a woman. Why? The originally weak fourth prince now had the courage to ask this question. Unfortunately, under Hu Jujio's harsh cough, Li Huanjuan's face darkened and immediately ordered people to detain the fourth prince, the original crown prince. In the royal court, there were some ministers who wanted to object, but they realized that they could not straighten their bodies from kneeling on the ground. Moreover, the martial artist Paragon was right in front of them, and even His Majesty had spoken. Who would dare to provoke this misfortune? Didn't they see that the crown prince had been taken away? A minister stood up to congratulate Princess Xiaoyang because anyone could see that the martial saint of the northern kingdom was standing behind the princess. She was a powerful supporter of the princess. Li Huanjuan understood this as well. After everyone left, he talked to Princess Xiaoyang alone and asked about Hu Jujio's background. At first, Li Huanjuan thought that Xiaoyang would cover up a little and might not even tell him the truth. But unexpectedly, Xiaoyang suddenly laughed mockingly. Father, I wonder if you still remember the former crown prince, Li Yuanqing, whom you crippled a few years ago, the one you claim to be an unfilial son. But my brother is actually the master of this paragon. If not for him, 
Why would the paragon come to my side and listen to my orders? There was a hint of mockery and pity on Zhao Yang's face. It's a pity that her father racked his brains and schemed. He did everything he could to find a backer for the northern kingdom so that the martial saint could protect them. However, he had chosen to demote Li Yuanqing, the former crown prince of the northern kingdom, the one who could bring prosperity and safety to the northern kingdom, to a barren land. He did not have the slightest bit of affection for his son. He hated him to the core. She had begged so many times, and even used her own marriage in exchange for her elder brother's return to the imperial palace. But what had her father done? Zhao Yang felt that she should stand up. Only by standing up would she be able to rely on her big brother and protect her one day. Impossible, this. How is this possible? His meridians were clearly crippled. How could he have a martial artist paragon as his servant? Zhao Yang, are you crazy? You're talking nonsense. If you don't want to tell us the origin of the martial artist paragon, it's fine. As long as you can get her to help when the northern kingdom is in trouble. Li Huanjuan did not believe Princess Zhao Yang at all. He thought Princess Zhao Yang was lying to him. How could this be possible? How could his son have a martial saint realm servant? How powerful was Li Yuanqing then? How is this possible? In this world, other than my big brother, who else would be so good to me by leaving a martial artist paragon behind to protect me? I think even father wouldn't be able to do it. Whether it's real or fake, time will slowly prove everything. Father, you're wrong. Suddenly, Zhao Yang burst out laughing. She was laughing so hard that she was almost tearing up. She used to be so obedient and respectful to her father. She always thought that he treated her very well. But what did he do to her? Only her brother had always been silently caring for her. In order for her to get what she wanted, he even sent her a martial saint servant. She would never be able to repay such a huge favor in her lifetime. Amidst the laughter, Zhao Yang left the palace and returned to her princess residence. Meanwhile, Li Huanjuan, who was in the imperial palace, became absent-minded. He sat alone quietly for a very long time. The words that Zhao Yang had given him shocked him to the core, but why was he so flustered? Did he think that she was telling the truth? How could his eldest son, the former crown prince Li Yuanqing, be so powerful? Could it be some fortuitous encounter? Or was it because of the princess of the myriad city kingdom he had once asked him to marry? Why didn't he agree? At that time, he should have known something. Or perhaps, he was already different from others. Li Huanjuan could not eat or sleep in peace. Whether it was in court, walking, or even eating, he could not stop thinking regretfully. Was Li Yuanqing really as powerful as Zhao Yang said? Would he bear a grudge and be angry with him for treating him like that? Would he one day leave the northern kingdom in the lurch? Or would he attack his younger brothers? Was he the one who caused the death of the third prince? After much consideration, and with Li Huanjuan's increasing regret and suspicion in his heart, he actually fell ill and was seriously ill. This made everyone in the Northern Kingdom very surprised. After all, Li Huanjuan was also an 8th grade martial artist. It was inconceivable that he would fall sick. However, this was exactly what happened. At this time, Zhao Yang was assisting with the matters of the royal court. Although there were many objections and her title as the crown princess had yet to be announced, with a martial saint paragon like Hu Jujio standing behind her, the matter of choosing the prince consort had already been halted. Furthermore, the fourth prince was crippled, so only Zhao Yang would be able to handle it. Half a year later, Li Huanjuan had become so thin that he looked like a completely different person. Then, he suddenly wanted to go to the wilderness. This was extremely rare in the history of the Northern Kingdom. This time, he wanted to go to the wilderness valley to take a look at Li Yuanqing the former crown prince that he hated. Upon hearing this news, Li Yuanqing was silently cultivating the peak of the second level of the clear sky sword art. At this moment, he was already a peak ninth grade martial artist and was considering breaking through to martial saint. Li Yuanqing's manipulation art had already reached the peak of level 5 and could reach level 6 at any time. Li Huanjuan's men were all in the wilderness garrison camp. When the garrison general heard that his majesty wanted to see Li Yuanqing, he immediately asked Wang Shun and the rest to summon Li Yuanqing to meet his majesty. He even had a vague guess in his heart that his majesty might recall the former crown prince and that the former crown prince might be reinstated. But to everyone's surprise, 
Wang Shun brought a piece of shocking news. The former crown prince, Li Yuanqing, did not come according to the summons. He replied to Wang Shun directly. It's just fate that brought us together. Our fate is over, so it's best to not meet. Wang Shun, who was kneeling on the ground, felt a lingering fear in his heart. He really mustered up the courage to say such words, even risking the consequences of being punished by his majesty. Li Huanjuan's expression was very ugly. He was so angry that the hand holding the cup was trembling. This unfilial son. No, no, even if he was an unfilial son, he had to find a way to meet him. His intuition told him that what Zhao Yang said that day was true. If it was true, then for the stability of the northern kingdom, he still had to meet this unfilial son even though he would scold him a thousand times in his heart. When Wang Shun reported to his majesty, the garrison general was still at the side. When he heard Wang Shun's report, he was stunned and felt sorry for the former crown prince. The former crown prince seemed to be a rather smart person. How could he be so muddled? He actually spoke such disgraceful words. Did he want to be imprisoned and killed? However, what shocked the garrison general was that his majesty only smashed a cup but did not punish him directly. He even waved his hand to signal Wang Shun to leave. Afterwards, his majesty smashed the inkstone and beat up a servant. But a day later, he personally went to the wilderness valley and the garrison general followed him to protect him. After knowing his majesty's attitude towards Li Yuanqing, he recalled the news from his family that his sister was supposed to marry the fourth prince, but after the fourth prince was imprisoned, his majesty agreed to cancel the princess consort selection. He intended to make princess Zhao Yang the crown princess, and she was Li Yuanqing's sister from the same father and mother. Could it be because of her? But it didn't look like it. The garrison general had his doubts, but he didn't dare ask his majesty. It was the middle of summer. Although Li Huanjuan and the others traveled lightly, it was almost noon when they arrived. He was stopped outside the gate. Zhang Quan was guarding the gate. Who are you? This is a restricted area. Idle people will have to walk around. Zhang Quan was already a peak fourth grade martial artist. Li Huanjuan and his entourage did not reveal their identities. It was the garrison general who reprimanded Zhang Quan and explained to his majesty, the crippled crown prince is a prisoner. Back then, we were ordered to look after him, so no one else was allowed to come near him. All these years, the crippled crown prince has never left this place. The garrison general's explanation made Li Huanjuan, who had been depressed, feel a little better. He even nodded at the garrison general indicating that he had done a good job. However, when they entered the valley, Li Huanjuan was upset again. He did not see Li Yuanqing at all. The valley was way too big right now. Many people searched for him, but they still could not find him. That garrison general was so frightened that his head was sweating. He knelt on the ground and begged for forgiveness. Your Majesty, the crippled crown prince has never left the valley in all these years. This is the first time I've been unable to find him. I'll immediately increase my manpower and continue searching. The prisoner was lost. His majesty came personally, but he would not even be able to see him. This was a huge crime. Furthermore, his majesty was in a bad mood. If he took the opportunity to punish him, he would be in trouble. Forget it. He's intentionally avoiding me. I'll wait. At this moment, Li Huanjuan's mood was really complicated. He was the ruler of a kingdom and his father, but he couldn't even see him when he wanted to see him. Moreover, this valley was said to be a place of imprisonment. But along the way, he saw that there were lush green trees and lush vegetation. Even though it was a hot summer season, there wasn't the slightest bit of heat. The lake was rippling with waves, and willows were leaning against each other. What one could see was a scene that made one feel refreshed. How was this imprisonment? This was leisure. Li Huanjuan was furious, but he had put down so many important matters of the kingdom just to see this bastard. He had yet to see him, so he couldn't leave in anger. He could not even show his displeasure towards his unfilial son. This was too frustrating. Li Huanjuan was furious, but he could not show it on his face. He was here to build a good relationship with Li Yuanqing for the sake of the northern kingdom. That night, Li Huanjuan's men stayed in the valley and he ordered his men to clean it up. Although Li Yuanqing was nowhere to be seen, someone had discovered the hot spring. Li Huanjuan went to the hot spring personally to take a look. 
Although the garrison general was extremely envious and was fascinated by his majesty, he invited his majesty to soak in the hot spring. However, Li Huanjuan rejected him because this was Li Yuanqing's territory. As his father, he did not dare to touch Li Yuanqing's things. Li Huanjuan stayed there for three consecutive days without seeing Li Yuanqing at all. However, he felt that this wilderness valley was truly a good place to cultivate one's body and mind. He felt increasingly envious. Since he could not see Li Yuanqing, he called Wang Shun and Zhang Quan over and asked them about Li Yuanqing's living habits. His fatherly expression made Wang Shun feel uneasy. The former crown prince has a good temper. We usually take turns to send him food every three to five days. He has never left the valley in the past few years. Sometimes, he would go to the hot spring when it's cold. When it's hot, he likes to drink tea under the pine trees by the lake. He once picked up a mute to serve him tea. Wang Shun didn't know that the mute he was referring to was actually Marshal Saint Hu Jujio. Li Huanjuan didn't take Wang Shun's words to heart, nor did he want to see the mute. Three days later, Li Huanjuan had no choice but to leave. As the ruler of a country, it was already unprecedented for him to stay in the wilderness for so long. If he stayed too long in the wilderness, it would affect the political situation. However, when he left, he learned from the station general that Wang Shun and Zhang Quan's cultivation speed was very fast. They were originally second grade and third grade martial artists, but in just a few short years, they were already fourth grade and fifth grade martial artists. Take good care of the former crown prince. No matter what he needs, satisfy him. If you can't make up your mind, report it immediately. Almost without any doubt, Li Huanjuan had already confirmed that this unfilial son of his really had a fortuitous encounter. Furthermore, his happiness and anger had already affected the stability of the northern kingdom. In the future, he could only do things according to his preferences. Li Huanjuan felt a headache coming on just thinking about the bastard who could control a martial saint. On the way back to the imperial city, Li Huanjuan finally figured out a problem that had been bothering him all this while. Back then, Li Yuanqing had disobeyed the imperial edict. He must have done it on purpose. Now that he thought about it, there was really something wrong with the princess of the Myriad City Kingdom. It was a pity that he barely understood it after a few years. On the night Li Huanjuan left, Li Yuanqing returned to the valley. Wang Shun was overjoyed and told Li Yuanqing everything about his majesty's visit and how he summoned him for questioning. Seeing that Li Yuanqing was in a good mood, Wang Shun, who was pouring tea for him, even suggested, Your Highness, do you want me to arrange a few servants to serve you tea? Miss Hu isn't around anymore, so it's a little inconvenient. Don't talk too much. She went out to settle some matters. She'll come back in the future. Li Yuanqing smiled and sipped his tea leisurely. Li Huanjuan really thought highly of himself. Did he think that he would be able to see him just because he wanted to? The people he did not want to see, even if they were the emperor of the northern kingdom or his father, he would not see them. He really did not want to see a person who placed the country first and plotted against his children's interests, even if Li Huanjuan seemed to know that he had done something wrong. So what? After returning to the palace, Li Huanjuan summoned Princess Xiaoyang. This time, Hu Juju did not follow. Anyway, if the princess was really in danger, she could feel it even from there. I went to the wilderness valley, but I didn't see your brother. You? Has your brother already entered the saint realm? Or is his strength even higher? Even though he did not see Li Yuanqing, Li Huanjuan paid more attention to him. Unfortunately, Xiaoyang did not say anything. I don't know. I can't see through my brother's strength. You didn't see my brother because he didn't want to see you. I advise you not to disturb his cultivation if you have nothing to do. Xiaoyang looked at Li Huanjuan. Their relationship had changed. Xiaoyang was no longer the princess who listened to her father. She had her own ideas and confidence. Although your strength is not bad, since the founding of the Northern Kingdom, there has never been a great empress. Although I can confer you the title of crown princess at any time, you still have to fight for the hearts of the people. Therefore, you'd better learn to handle some tricky matters. Li Huanjuan looked at Princess Xiaoyang, who was speaking to him in a less respectful manner. He felt very uncomfortable. He thought about how he had worked so hard to make this trip to the wilderness, and yet he had not even seen that bastard's face. He really felt angry, but he did not dare to show it. 
especially in front of Princess Xiaoyang. He could only tell Xiaoyang about some of the difficulties of conferring the title of crown princess. He was telling the truth. Xiaoyang nodded her head to express her approval. She also hoped that if there were any troublesome matters in the Northern Kingdom in the future, she would be willing to take action. Good. Although the remnants of the Blood Flame sect were wiped out last time, the Imperial Court has found out that the Wind Thunder sect has always been in cahoots with the Blood Flame sect. They even secretly protected the Blood Flame sect. This time, you have come to wipe out some of the rebels in the Northern Kingdom. Let them all know who the Orthodox branch of the Northern Kingdom is. Some sects and clans in the Northern Kingdom were deeply entangled. In the past, it was unknown whether the martial saint of the Northern Kingdom was dead or alive. Li Huanjuan felt that the foundation of the Northern Kingdom was unstable, so he was powerless against these forces. At this moment, there was a martial saint backing Zhaoyang. Li Huanjuan felt that he could not let go of such a good opportunity to stabilize the country. Therefore, he pushed Zhaoyang out so that she could establish her might and also purge some of the dark forces in the country. All right. Zhaoyang agreed without hesitation. Hu Juju was bored, and she was trying to break through to become a seventh grade martial artist. If she went out and trained, she might be able to advance very quickly. In this life, she was aiming for the martial god paragon realm. Li Yuanqing was far away in the wilderness. After finishing his tea, he took a stroll after his meal. He strolled through the valley slowly, but it was so huge that he would often discover places he had never been before. For example, this time, he saw a small hill filled with rocks. In the middle, there was a small path about the width of a person. Li Yuanqing had never been here before. Without hesitation, he walked to the path filled with rocks and a voice rang in his head. Host has entered the ancient ruins. Do you want a sign? Ancient ruins? This was a legend from 10,000 years ago. It said that many miracles had appeared on this continent. At that time, humans, demons, and gods coexisted. There were powerful beings who could move mountains and fill seas. Furthermore, there were also many bizarre monsters that had cultivated to become gods. Unfortunately, it happened too long ago. Li Yuanqing only occasionally found some records about the ancient times in the library of the Northern Kingdom. Most people thought that the ancient times were just a myth. After all, some of the descriptions and stories were unbelievable. Sign in. Li Yuanqing was secretly delighted. He had never expected that there would be so many surprises hidden in a secluded place he had randomly chosen. It was also the gate to the ancient ruins. If he had nothing to do in the future, he should come here to take a look and see if there were any discoveries in the ancient ruins. Sign in at the gate of the ancient ruins. Reward. Intermediate Vitality Reinforcement Pill A1. Reward 200 Intermediate Vitality Reinforcement Pills 2. Reward a copy of the Ancient Illustration Intermediate Vitality Reinforcement Pill An Ancient Era's Information Li Yuanqing looked at the mountain road and the lush greenery in the distance. Moreover, the trees here were obviously more lush than other places. Some of the branches could not even be hugged by a few people. It looked ancient. This place should be a blessed land's treasure land. It might be able to be signed in continuously. At the thought of this, Li Yuanqing immediately chose the first reward. Because he was already at the peak of the ninth grade and was one step closer to the martial saint realm, the intermediate vitality reinforcement pill was more practical than the ancient illustration. A hundred intermediate vitality reinforcement pills was a full bottle. Li Yuanqing did not hesitate this time and took one right on the spot. Soon, his body felt something. There seemed to be a gush of vital energy in the air that was flowing into his body continuously. The feeling of being filled with vital energy made Li Yuanqing feel energized. The intermediate vitality reinforcement pill was really a good thing. Li Yuanqing had never felt so full of vitality before. If he could maintain this feeling frequently, he felt that he would not have to spend 50 to 100 years like many others to reach the martial saint realm. In a short period of time, he would be able to break through from the peak of the ninth grade to martial saint. In the next few days, Li Yuanqing would visit this place when he had nothing to do. Occasionally, he would sign some items, such as hundreds of ancient demon beast illustrations, various spirit herb illustrations, and methods of usage. 
and several hundred intermediate vitality reinforcement pills. In the following days, Li Yuanqing would consume the intermediate vitality reinforcement pills every day. He would gather the aura within his body time and time again to cleanse his body, making him stronger and stronger. He looked forward to the day when he could become a martial saint. The new year arrived in the blink of an eye. This time, Princess Xiaoyang arrived at the Wilderness Valley on New Year's Eve and met Li Yuanqing. Her arrival made Li Yuanqing a little happy. Naturally, he did not avoid her like Li Huanjuan did. The siblings were watching the snow together, skating on the surface of the lake, and even had a snowball battle. Hu Jujiu, who had been following Zhao Yang, couldn't help but yawn. She felt that it was too boring. So she decided to sleep under the pine tree where Li Yuanqing usually drank tea. However, she didn't sleep for long before her eyes suddenly opened. She looked around vigilantly, and when she saw who it was, she suddenly relaxed. It was the Qilin that had arrived. It had probably sensed Hu Jiujiu's aura and rushed over from the hinterlands to meet her. The Qilin half knelt on the ground and shook its head at Hu Jiujiu. Its joy was evident. On the other side, Zhao Yang and Li Yuanqing were frolicking on the surface of the lake. Even though Zhao Yang was a sixth grade martial artist, she was still swaying on the surface of the lake and almost fell down. Li Yuanqing could not help but laugh at Zhao Yang's charmingly naive look. When he left the palace, Zhao Yang looked like she was only seven or eight years old. However, she was no longer naive and innocent. At this moment, she was able to let go of her worries in front of him. He would just let her play around. Brother, you don't know how angry father was when he didn't see you the previous time. Moreover, later on, I often angered him, but he didn't dare to flare up at me when he was angry. It felt truly good to see him like that. At this moment, Zhao Yang was smiling very happily. Although this seemed inappropriate, when she thought about what her father had done to her, she felt very happy. Li Yuanqing smiled as well. He also liked this feeling of not being able to do anything to me despite not liking me. Besides, apart from being their father, Li Huanjuan was also the emperor of the Northern Kingdom. However, he was able to achieve what he had today because he thought too highly of the country. Otherwise, he wouldn't have ended up in such an awkward situation. He brought it upon himself. He deserves it. He doesn't look like a father. So he has to be mentally prepared that his children won't respect him and be filial to him. Moreover, the royal family has never been affectionate, so don't expect anything. Yes, I understand. Oh right, I will be heading to the headquarters of the Wind Thunder sect in Kaiyuan County after the new year. There are also a few sects in the Northern Kingdom. I have to teach them a good lesson. I'm afraid I won't have time to bother you for the next few years. Zhao Yang accepted the order and went to deal with the sects of the Northern Kingdom. These people were all hiding in the dark, but once they discovered that the Northern Kingdom's foundation was unstable, they would be the first to jump out. For example, the Blood Flame sect was the leader. Be careful, they might have martial saints too. Li Wanqing instructa Zhou Yan. After they were done playing on the lake, he took out quite a number of intermediate wallbreaker pills and handed them to Zhao Yang. The disparity between a 6th grade and 7th grade martial artist is too great. A 7th grade martial artist is an advanced martial artist. You will be safer. Although Zhao Yang will bring Hu Jujiu to sweep through those sects, who knows if there would be some hidden strength or a martial saint hidden inside. After all, the Northern Kingdom was too big. The cautiously Yuanqing naturally hoped that Zhao Yang was fine. Zhao Yang looked at her big brother with reddened eyes and nodded her head heavily. Then, she stayed in the Wilderness Valley for a period of time until the Imperial City urged her to return to the Imperial Palace as soon as possible. This was especially true for Li Huanjuan. Since Zhao Yang wanted to be the crown princess, how could the first royal court of the New Year and the New Year offerings of the Northern Kingdom not have Princess Zhao Yang? Therefore, when Princess Zhao Yang returned to the palace, Li Huanjuan was very angry especially when he thought about how he was not able to see Li Yuanqing even after staying in the wilderness for a few days. This time, Zhao Yang had stayed in the valley for half a month. Moreover, according to the secret report from the garrison general, Li Yuanqing had been in the valley the entire time, even accompanying Zhao Yang to hunt and play around. Li Huanjuan was both jealous and angry. Li Yuanqing was too biased. Thus, 
Li Huanjuan wanted to use the excuse of delaying Princess Xiaoyang's return to the wilderness as an excuse to punish her a little, and wanted to try to restrain herself. However, he was shocked to discover that Princess Xiaoyang who had returned from the wilderness had already advanced to a 7th grade martial artist, and Princess Xiaoyang was only 16 years old this year. A 16 years old 7th grade martial artist. This speed of advancement could be said to be the fastest in the Northern Kingdom. Only the founding ancestor could compare to this speed of advancement. The remaining members of the Northern Kingdom royal family had not had a cultivating genius like Princess Zhao Yang for more than a hundred years. Therefore, even if Li Huanjuan wanted to use this as an excuse to punish Princess Zhao Yang, he realized that it was all in vain. This Princess Zhao Yang was the hope of the entire Northern Kingdom. Who would dare to punish her at this time? Wasn't he deliberately opposing everyone? Li Huanjuan was most afraid of not being able to win the hearts of the people. Therefore, he could only think about it in his heart, but did not dare to say it out loud. Li Huanjuan felt that he was a good-for-nothing emperor when there was no one around. He couldn't do as he pleased. He had to smile at the crippled crown prince even when he was being ignored. He wanted to punish Xiao Yang, but he didn't dare to act recklessly for fear of incurring the wrath of the people and destabilizing the country. Princess Xiaoyang did not think too much about it. Now that she had advanced to an advanced 7th grade martial artist, she remembered what her brother had told her. She had used too many medicines. Although her advancement was very fast, she lacked actual combat experience. Her foundation in the Black Phoenix spirit technique wasn't firm, and she needed to constantly temper herself in actual combat. Thus, Princess Xiaoyang practically didn't rest in the Imperial City, and immediately went to encircle the Wind Thunder Sex Rebels. When she went to the headquarters of the Wind Thunder Sect in Kaiyuan County, she discovered that Kaiyuan County was not far from Xiaoyang Mountain. The place here had violent sandstorms, and it's very barren and looked desolate. Xiaoyang recalled that when the Blood Flame Sect challenged the Imperial City, her father had arranged for her to go up to Xiaoyang Mountain. If not for her brother's man, she might have already landed in this barren and desolate place. Now that she thought about it, it felt like a dream. Zhao Yang planned to lead Hu Jujio in charge after finding the headquarters of the Wind Thunder sect. Then, she would get the Imperial Court's troops to surround them and specifically kill those who escaped. After Zhao Yang left, Li Yuanqing continued to cultivate silently in the small valley. The clear sky swords art was about to reach master level soon, and the sand escape technique had also started to reach the proficiency level. This escape technique was about speed. When Li Yuanqing used this escape technique, his speed was extremely fast, like a flash of light. However, he still felt that it was not enough. Although his speed was comparable to a martial saint, it was still too slow for him to chase after a martial saint. He had to reach master level. Li Yuanqing had cultivated the manipulation art the most and had already broken through to peak level 5. Therefore, even though Hu Jujia was very powerful, she was still unable to escape the control of the inner demon seed. One month after Zhao Yang's departure, Li Yuanqing, who had consumed the intermediate vitality reinforcement pill, was still cultivating by the lake when the weather suddenly changed. Waves of dark clouds were approaching the lake, and the sky suddenly darkened. This made the soldiers and civilians at the encampment extremely frightened. They didn't know what had happened. Meanwhile, the clear sky sword on Li Yuanqing's body suddenly jumped out and flew into the dark clouds. The strike was like an opportunity that caused the dark clouds to surge towards Li Yuanqing. Li Yuanqing suddenly stood up. It's here. He's about to break through. The opportunity had arrived. Li Yuanqing was not panicking at all. He had been waiting for this day for a long time. He had always been cautious and had been accumulating experience day after day in the wilderness. Until today, he finally broke through. From a peak ninth grade martial artist to a martial saint. Even if it was just this step, the cautious Li Yuanqing had been accumulating all this while. He had been controlling his cultivation realm to build a solid foundation. And when the water was full, it would naturally overflow. Today was the day when the water was full. Therefore, Li Yuanqing, who was standing by the lake, watched as his clear sky sword danced among the clouds in the sky. He extended his hand, and the clear sky sword was held tightly by him. Li Yuanqing held the clear sky sword in his hand. His entire body became one with the sword as he slashed at the dark clouds. 
The thick, dark clouds that covered the sun and moon were split apart by the clear sky sword in a flash. As for Clearwater Lake, because of the clear sky sword sword energy, there was a huge ravine in the lake. The ravine was extremely wide, and the surging lake water kept pouring into the ravine. Water splashed everywhere, forming a huge waterfall that flows downstream. There was an additional waterfall downstream of the Clearwater Lake. The power of a single sword strike from a martial saint was so terrifying. At this moment, the dark clouds that originally covered the sky and the sun had dispersed, revealing the sun in the sky. On the other hand, Li Yuanqing stood by the lake in high spirits. His aura was elevated once again. Originally, his temperament was extraordinary and elegant like an immortal. Now, his facial features were even more handsome. The key was that he still looked very young, looking like he was not even 20 years old. After such a huge commotion in the wilderness, the garrison camp was also investigating what had happened. However, the dark clouds came and went suddenly. Those who had experienced this scene did not understand what was going on. They could only treat it as a curious and interesting conversation. Only Wang Shun and Zhang Quan, who were guarding the valley, could faintly feel that the strange phenomenon in the sky seemed to be related to the crown prince in the valley. However, none of them said anything. Their experiences over the years told them that they would only get better and better if they clung tightly to the crown prince. Didn't they see how his majesty didn't blame the crown prince even after being rejected? The crown prince was unfathomable. The scene in the skies above the wilderness was not only strange to the people in the encampment, but also to the beasts in the hinterlands of the wilderness. After all, the sky had suddenly turned dark and the immense pressure in the air made these beasts shiver. They were more sensitive than human martial artists. On the highest mountain peak in the hinterlands, a Chilin was looking up at the sky. Behind it were countless vicious beasts that were howling in pain. The scene was chaotic. When there were changes in the sky, these vicious beasts would hide behind the strong, wanting to obtain the protection of the strong. For example, this Chilin of the Hundred Beast King. That Chilin was originally very anxious. When such a phenomenon descended from the sky, it would sometimes exterminate countless clansmen or its own kind. And it was also time for kings like them to fight over territories and recruit underlings. If they could protect their underlings' lives, their reputation would naturally increase. The number of vicious beasts following him would also increase. However, opportunities and risks coexisted. If it was not careful, its soul might be destroyed by the might of the heavens. Not to mention protecting its underlings, it might not even be able to keep its life. Thus, when the phenomenon appeared in the sky, there was a commotion in the wilderness. Countless beast leaders began to flee in search of a cave to hide, while some threw away their subordinates and fled alone. There were also those who took advantage of the chaos to gather those terrified and uneasy beasts and become their subordinates. This Chilin beast was also the king of this area. It used to be Hu Jujio's mount. He followed along because Hu Jujio came here to look for healing medicine. Hu Jujio was following Zhao Yang. So it had no choice but to hide in the hinterlands of the wilderness and gather a group of underlings to occupy a large territory. It was only because it hadn't been here for long that some intelligent, vicious beasts didn't really recognize it. Thus, although its territory was large, it had very few capable underlings. On this day, the Chilin beast raised its head and saw something that no one else could see. The clear sky sword. It had seen this sword before. It was its master's master's sword. It had seen Li Yuanqing many times in that valley in the wilderness. In the eyes of the Chilin beast, Li Yuanqing, who could subdue Hu Jujio and render her helpless, was a powerful being. As long as he made a move, the danger would become an opportunity. Therefore, this Chilin beast was different from all the other beast kings. It started to recruit its underlings to protect them, and the numbers kept increasing. While the beasts were panicking, the Chilin beasts moved quickly to gather countless underlings. When Li Yuanqing became a martial saint, there would be no danger in the wilderness. The Chilin beast had obtained what it wanted. With the support of countless vicious beasts, its power had grown even stronger. It even thought that it might not be long before it could unite the entire wilderness. All of this was because it knew the clear sky sword and Li Yuanqing. The Chilin beast felt that if it had the chance, 
it would definitely tell its master about this. The owner of the clear sky sword was simply too powerful, so powerful that it could make people worship it. It was simply too terrifying. Li Yuanqing's handsome face flashed before the Qilin beast's eyes. The Qilin was so frightened that it shuddered. Li Yuanqing, who was far away in the valley, did not know what had happened in the wilderness valley. He was in an exceptionally good mood at the moment. His clear sky sword's art had reached master level, and his sand escape technique had also reached the proficiency level. Even the Saint Extermination Stone, which had reached the proficiency level, had become his trump card. There was also a level 5 manipulation arts. He could refine another inner demon seed and slowly nurture it before selecting a servant. This time, he still needed to spend some time. Although I am already a martial saint, the Blood Flame sect had already produced a martial god paragon. Who knows if there are still martial saints hiding in the Northern Kingdom? It's better to be cautious. Once I'm really invincible, I can leave this valley. Li Yuanqing calculated in his heart. He was someone who was afraid of death and overly cautious. He would never leave the mountain unless he was absolutely strong. However, with this hundredfold sign in system, his advancement should be very fast. Furthermore, there were still ancient ruins in this valley. He had to study them carefully. He wanted to know what exactly happened 10,000 years ago. He wanted to know why there was actually not a single almighty being left behind from the ancient times. All that was left behind were some mythical legends that no one knew were true or false. Princess Zhaoyang arrived at Kaiyuan County and quickly figured out the headquarters of the Wind Thunder sect. It was a mountain range that occupied an area of over 500 kilometers, and the Wind Thunder sect had resided here for 200 years, even longer than the founding of the Northern Kingdom. The commoners of Kaiyuan County only knew of the Wind Thunder sect, but not the Northern Kingdom. Back then, the founding emperor of the Northern Kingdom, the Holy Grandmaster, had once come to attack the Wind Thunder sect. In the end, the Wind Thunder sect expressed their allegiance to the Northern Kingdom and narrowed down the scope of their activities. Only then did the Wind Thunder sect survive. However, after the Holy Grandmaster left, the Wind Thunder sect began to rapidly expand its influence. Not only did they occupy Kaiyuan County, but they also occupied six or seven other nearby counties. The commoners here had almost forgotten that this was the territory of the Northern Kingdom and not the territory of the Wind Thunder sect. After her subordinates confirmed the headquarters of the Wind Thunder sect, Princess Zhaoyang expressed that it would be fine to charge straight up. She instructed her subordinates to keep an eye out for anyone who slipped through the net. Just like that, she brought Hu Juju up the mountain. Her big brother had once said that she had taken too many medicinal pills. Although her advancement was fast, her strength was unstable and she needed actual combat. Therefore, she planned to kill her way into the headquarters of the Wind Thunder sect, even if she only had the strength of a 7th grade martial artist. She had to move forward without hesitation. I am Princess Zhaoyang. I have come to see your sect master. I have two things to announce. The first is to remove your 800 divisions, and the second is to reduce your headquarters to a radius of 100 miles. This is the bottom line that the Northern Kingdom has given you. Your influence cannot exceed this 100 miles. Princess Zhaoyang looked at the Wind Thunder sect's sect leader. He was a peak 9th grade middle-aged man. When he heard her words, the veins on his forehead popped out and his face was filled with rage. The Wind Thunder sect has been in power for 200 years. Your northern kingdom has only been in power for a hundred years. The martial saint from back then is no longer around. There is no need for us to abide by the agreement we made back then. The royal family of the northern kingdom has stretched their hands too far. You will suffer retribution? The sect leader of the Wind Thunder sect was not polite to Princess Xiaoyang. A mere seventh grade martial artist dared to order him around? Back then, the Wind Thunder sect also had a martial saint. However, due to special reasons, he was in seclusion at that time. Therefore, when the founding martial saint of the Northern Kingdom came, they had no choice but to agree to some restrictions. However, the founding martial saint of the Northern Kingdom was no longer around, and their martial saint had come out of seclusion ten years ago. Even if there was a martial saint standing behind Princess Xiaoyang, the foundation of the Wind Thunder sect for 200 years was not something that only a martial saint from the Northern Kingdom could decide life and death. 
She wanted them to withdraw their branch sects and shrink their headquarters to a hundred miles. In the past, even the martial saint of the Northern Kingdom didn't dare to say this. This princess of the Northern Kingdom was quite bold. Wasn't it just because she had a martial saint behind her? On the surface, the strongest person in the Wind Thunder sect was only at the peak of the ninth grade. However, they actually have more than one martial saint. They were just concealing their strength all these years. It was time for them to show it today and shock everyone. He wanted to let all the martial artists in the world know that the Northern Kingdom was still a place where strength reigned supreme. The Northern Kingdom had no right to control the Wind Thunder sect. If they dared to criticize them, they would not mind destroying the Northern Kingdom in advance. If that's the case, it means that you don't agree to it. Just nice. I could use you guys to practice. Princess Zhao Yang wasn't afraid. This malignant tumor called the Wind Thunder Sect had already threatened the safety of the Northern Kingdom. If they continued to ignore it, it wouldn't be long before the region that had been infiltrated by the Wind Thunder Sect's forces would become another regime and country. They already had no way out. If they kept retreating, this country would be even more unstable. Princess Zhao Yang took out her long sword. She cultivated the Black Phoenix Spirit Technique, a very mysterious technique given to her by her elder brother. When she reached the master level, she would be able to step into the martial saint realm. The Black Phoenix Sword Technique focused on actual combat. There weren't many advanced martial artists in the Northern Kingdom, and most of them were important officials of the Imperial Court. There weren't many that could fight to the death, so Princess Zhao Yang had taken a liking to the Wind Thunder sect. Insolence. You simply don't know the immensity of the heavens and earth. Since the Northern Kingdom's emperor is so rude, killing his princess isn't too much. The Wind Thunder sect had originally planned to remain in hiding for a few years, then soar into the skies by aiding someone to replace the Northern Kingdom, obeying them as the orthodoxy. However, they did not expect Princess Zhao Yang to come knocking on their doors. This meant that there was no need for them to continue hiding and accumulating their strength. They had secretly accumulated their strength for over 200 years. This time, they must shock everyone. He wanted to change the Northern Kingdom. Thus, in the next moment, a deacon from the Wind Thunder sect made his move. It was as easy as flipping his palm for a peak 8th grade martial artist to deal with Princess Xiaoyang. Even though Princess Xiaoyang had a martial saint by her side, the Wind Thunder sect's guardian was not someone to be trifled with. He had become a martial saint long ago, and this would be the perfect opportunity to stop Hu Juju. Since the royal family of the Northern Kingdom overestimated themselves, their Wind Thunder sect no longer needed to accumulate power and keep a low profile. All they had to do was kill. Princess Xiaoyang was under a lot of pressure when she faced a peak 8th grade martial artist. It was so great that she felt suffocated. The Black Phoenix spirit technique that she had always been proud of was actually unable to be used at this time. It was as if her entire body was being imprisoned. This battle caused Princess Zhao Yang to feel immense pressure. She used almost all of her strength and didn't dare to be distracted. If she was even a little bit careless, she would be killed. Hu Jujio, who was wearing a veil, sneered. How dare a human martial saint be so arrogant? There were many kinds of martial saints too. All right? Even though she had yet to recover from her injuries, not everyone was qualified to challenge her. Although she was powerless against Li Yuanqing, it did not mean that any martial saint would dare to be arrogant in front of her. Therefore, Hu Jujio did not use any weapons, she just waved her hand, and a sharp claw slashed across the sky, bringing with it an extreme radiance and a whistling sound as it slapped down. The originally arrogant guardian's eyes were filled with fear as he turned to flee. The opponent was too terrifying. Hemph! Hu Jujio snorted coldly. The Wind Thunder sect only had this much ability, yet they still dared to attack Xiaoyang. They were really tired of living. They could not even handle one move from her. Hu Jujio turned around and looked at the battle between Princess Xiaoyang and the peak 8th grade martial artist after scaring away the guardian. The princess was still young. It was extremely strenuous to deal with this peak 8th grade martial artist. In any case, she only needed to protect her. Until she was in danger, Hu Jujio had no intention of attacking. One move, two moves, three moves. After these three moves, Princess Zhao Yang felt like all her strength had been sucked out. 
She had already reached her limit. It would seem that she would be knocked to the ground in a moment. Her opponent was too strong. She really couldn't defeat him. Was she going to die here today? She was too reckless. Princess Xiaoyang felt despair. Li Yuanqing, who was far away in the Wilderness Valley, did not say anything when he heard from Wang Shun that Princess Xiaoyang's first stop was Kaiyuan County. He only left the valley that night. Others might not know, but he knew that the Wind Thunder sect was not as simple as it seemed. The Wind Thunder sect had occupied Kaiyuan County for 200 years. It was even earlier than the Northern Kingdom. Moreover, their sect master should have the strength of a martial saint many years ago. However, he had submitted to the Northern Kingdom's founding martial saint. If they had the resources, they could nurture more than one martial saint in these 200 years. Moreover, the Wind Thunder sect was flexible and even pushed the Blood Flame sect out. They hid behind the scenes and had the power to sweep the entire Northern Kingdom. Li Yuanqing did not believe that they only had one martial saint. It was true that using many advanced martial artists as sparring partners could quickly grow, but it was more dangerous. The cautious Li Yuanqing decided to follow Xiaoyang secretly and check out the strength of the martial artists outside, whether there is a need for him to leave the Wilderness Valley or not. After all, he was also a martial saint now. He still had many trump cards. However, when he saw Xiaoyang being suppressed by that 8th grade martial artist, Li Yuanqing could tell with a single glance that there was a problem. The Black Phoenix spirit technique itself was very strong. In fact, Xiaoyang's abilities surpassed those of the same level. However, she did not have enough actual combat experience, which was why she was suppressed at the start. Stab him seven inches under the armpit and retaliate. A familiar voice rang in Princess Xiaoyang's ears. This made her overjoyed. This was her big brother's voice but she couldn't find any loopholes under the opponent's armpit. However, this absolute trust caused Princess Xiaoyang to not hesitate at all. In an instant, she stabbed towards her opponent's armpit. With a piercing sound, the person who had been suppressing Xiaoyang fell to the ground with blood dripping from his chest. He died in a single strike. Xiaoyang was both surprised and delighted. A huge sense of joy filled her entire body. She wanted to look for her brother in the surroundings, but she could not see Li Yuanqing at all, as if he had never appeared. She and Hu Juju no longer had any opponents, so they charged straight for the sect master of the Wind Thunder sect. However, before they reached the top of the mountain, they saw a black storm suddenly blow. In that place, there were countless commoners whose auras had already disappeared. Their corpses were so shriveled that not a single drop of blood could be seen. There were even traces of being struck by lightning on some of their bodies. This was actually the Wind Thunder Great Art of the Wind Thunder Sect. It was a kind of evil technique that could use living beings to forcefully raise one's realm to martial saint. Over the years, the Wind Thunder Sect had used this technique to secretly raise five martial saints in preparation to overthrow the Northern Kingdom. However, before they could release these martial saints, Zhao Yang had come knocking. In fact, the Northern Kingdom had already noticed that too many people had gone missing around the Wind Thunder sect. In addition, their influence had expanded too quickly and had already threatened the Northern Kingdom's rule. The Wind Thunder sect kept a low profile on the surface. Princess Xiaoyang had not expected that there would actually be so many martial saints in this sect. When the first martial saint rushed out, Princess Xiaoyang was not flustered because she had Hu Jujio. However, Princess Xiaoyang felt uneasy when the third martial saint rushed out. She tightened her grip on her sword and became slightly nervous when she remembered that her elder brother was still around. However, she still kept her composure. However, when the fifth martial saint rushed out, Princess Xiaoyang's expression became ugly. Her heart was in turmoil. Since when did the Wind Thunder sect have five martial saints? Such powerful strength was actually hidden in Kaiyuan County. The strongest person on the surface was only a peak ninth grade martial artist. They were really well hidden. If she didn't rush into their nest this time. After a period of time, the sect master of the Wind Thunder sect will bring the five martial saints and rush to the Imperial City. Princess Xiaoyang simply did not dare to imagine the scene at that time. The Northern Kingdom was truly riddled with holes and could be overturned at any moment. This, thinking of this, Princess Zhao Yang felt a lingering fear. 
who Juju rushed forward. She was very strong. She faced the five martial saints of the Wind Thunder sect alone, while the Wind Thunder sect's sect leader and several deacons surrounded Princess Xiaoyang. They were all at the peak of the ninth grade. No matter how strong Hu Jujia was, she would not have the chance to protect Princess Xiaoyang when facing five martial saints. There seemed to be only one way out for Princess Xiaoyang, who was dealing with a few peak ninth grade martial artists, and that was to die. However, the strongest martial saint of the Wind Thunder sect was the sect master who looked to be in his thirties but had lived for two hundred years. He looked down at Zhao Yang and Hu Jujia with a mocking smile. If he had not gone into seclusion at a critical juncture a hundred years ago, they would not have made those conditions with the founding martial saint of the Northern Kingdom, much less have the later Northern Kingdom. Therefore, he planned to directly destroy the Northern Kingdom and then support the sect leader of the Wind Thunder sect to ascend to the throne. He would directly open up a new territory and turn the entire northern kingdom into the territory of the Wind Thunder sect, while those commoners would all become nutrients for the Wind Thunder great art, nurturing more martial saints for the Wind Thunder sect. Silly girl, you overestimate yourself. You too should cripple your cultivation and be my bed warmers. The sect master of the Wind Thunder sect looked greedily at Princess Xiaoyang and Hu Jujia. Both of them were stunning beauties. One was pure and noble while the other was charming and enchanting. Since the entire world will belong to the Wind Thunder sect in the future, then these beauties would naturally stay behind to serve him. Hu Juju was furious. This wretched human was so shameless. Damn it. Damn it a thousand times. Therefore, Hu Juju slapped out like a thunderbolt and attacked furiously. She wanted to kill all these bastards and leave none alive. Wind Thunder Array after Hu Jujio's slap, she was surprised to find that the martial saint who was attacked by her did not die completely. Instead, there was a defensive array formed by lightning. He had neutralized her attack. No matter how powerful the attack was, it seemed to be powerless against the power of lightning. Hu Jujio had hit a nail this time. The five martial saints and the Wind Thunder array of the Wind Thunder sect. There was also an even more powerful sect master of the Wind Thunder sect there. It seems like the Wind Thunder sect would not only let her and Zhao Yang stay in the headquarters of the Wind Thunder sect, but also the 1000 Northern Kingdom martial artists that they had brought with them. A dead end. Just when Hu Jujia was feeling hopeless, Li Yuanqing's figure finally appeared. Before they could even see what Li Yuanqing was doing, the few peak ninth grade martial artists who were surrounding Zhao Yang were sent flying. By the time they landed on the ground, they were already dead. One move. Actually, it's not even one move. Zhao Yang didn't even see how her big brother had attacked. And all of them died. Big brother. At this moment, Princess Zhao Yang, who felt like she had just escaped death, looked at Li Yuanqing with reddened eyes. This was the strongest attack she had ever faced since she was born. It was something that she would never have dreamed of. Six martial saints at once. This Wind Thunder sect did not care about martial virtue. They had hidden it too deeply. Stand behind me. Anyone who dares to humiliate Zhao Yang shall die. Li Yuanqing glared coldly at the sect master of the Wind Thunder sect who was looking down at him from above. When Li Yuanqing, who was also a martial saint, appeared, the sect master of the Wind Thunder sect had a grave expression on his face as he personally took the field. He did not know who the person opposite him was, but he was a formidable opponent to be able to approach them silently and finish off a few peak ninth grade martial artists in less than one move. He knew that he might not even be able to do it. What was even stranger was that Princess Xiaoyang called him Big Brother. The eldest brother of the royal princess? And a martial saint? Could it be that the Northern Kingdom had a martial saint hidden in the dark? The Northern Kingdom did not care about martial virtues too. They were hiding such an expert? The sect master of the Wind Thunder sect cursed silently in his heart. However, before he could react, he realized that his body could no longer move. It was as if his entire body had been confined by something and he could not move at all. The Wind Thunder sect master turned pale with fright as terror filled his entire body. Before he could think of a way to escape, he saw a flash of white light. Li Yuanqing's clear sky sword struck. The sword light of the clear sky sword was like the most dazzling star as it slashed down from above. Its speed was so fast that no one could react, 
including the five martial saints surrounding Hujujio. Their advancement to martial saints was by the wind thunder great art. They were already much weaker than ordinary martial saints. Under Li Yuanqing's clear sky sword, they were like rotten wood that could not fight back at all. In the blink of an eye, it was as if the wind thunder sex lair had been struck by lightning. The entire mountain was split into two, and the soaring sword beam could be seen from thousands of miles away. In the imperial city, Li Huanjuan was so shocked that he almost fell off the throne. He only managed to stabilize himself after tightly grabbing onto the support of the throne. However, he was panicking inside. Why was there such a huge commotion in the northern kingdom? This would destabilize the northern kingdom. Quick, get someone to investigate. What happened? That direction seems to be Kaiyuan City. Li Huanjuan hurriedly issued a decree to investigate. The Wind Thunder sect is in Kaiyuan County. The Wind Thunder sect that he had never dared to make a move against. This time, Zhao Yang had charged forward. He wondered how the situation was. The Northern Kingdom martial artists who had surrounded the Wind Thunder sect's lair stood up and looked up at the stunning sword. The clear sky sword shone with the might of the heavens. That sword strike had split open the headquarters of the Wind Thunder sect, splitting open the highest mountain range. Furthermore, the five martial saints surrounding Hu Jujio were also destroyed by that sword strike. The sect master of the Wind Thunder sect was like a paper doll at this moment. Although his face was filled with shock, his entire body couldn't move. The fear in his heart simply made him feel that this was the most terrifying moment of his life. Go, kill him. Li Yuanqing's last sentence was shouted at Zhao Yang. Since Zhao Yang had killed her way into the headquarters of the Wind Thunder sect, he would give the head of the Wind Thunder sect master to Zhao Yang. She only needed to strike once. Zhao Yang glanced at her elder brother. She was not afraid. She only had infinite trust in him. She rushed forward and thrust her sword towards the sect master of the Wind Thunder sect. At this point, the great trouble of the Northern Kingdom, the Wind Thunder sect, had finally been eliminated. The Wind Thunder sect master had easily died under Princess Zhao Yang's sword. By the time Princess Zhao Yang brought the head of the Wind Thunder sect's sect master down the mountain, the people on the outskirts let out thunderous cheers. Many restless martial artists who were thinking about whether or not to flee for their lives had their eyes turn red when they saw the princess. When they looked at Hu Jiujio, their eyes were filled with reverence. That was because that earth-shattering sword was something that they would never forget. Because other than Hu Jiujio, they could not guess who it was either. But in the face of that reverent gaze, Hu Jiujio shook her head in anger for the first time. The atmosphere became a bit strange. Soon, Princess Zhao Yang expressed that the sword attack just now was from someone else. It was a martial saint, and he was stronger. But Zhao Yang refused to give more information. Li Yuanqing's sword strike was earth-shattering and unforgettable to everyone in the Northern Kingdom. The Wind Thunder sect had hidden six martial saints so deeply, yet they were still defeated in the end. Li Zhangqing, who had stabbed out with that sword, became the most mysterious mighty figure in the entire Northern Kingdom. He split open the headquarters of the Wind Thunder sect and killed five martial saints with one strike. All the martial artists in the Northern Kingdom had been talking about this sword for many years, even though they did not know that it was Li Yuanqing, the former crown prince. Originally, there were still some undercurrents in the Northern Kingdom. Powerhouses like the Blood Flame sect and the Wind Thunder sect were secretly gathering their strength. They wanted to take advantage of the unstable foundation of the Northern Kingdom and replace it. However, Li Yuanqing's sword had silenced all the factions who were eager to make a move. Some of them even became low profile and dispersed, as if they had vanished all of a sudden. They no longer dared to show their faces in the Northern Kingdom. In the following period of time, Princess Zhao Yang's journey was smooth sailing. She brought along a thousand martial artists and swept through the various influences of the Northern Kingdom. Wherever she went, everyone would be docile and obedient. No one dared to have any thoughts of rebelling. Li Yuanqing's sword had subdued all the thieves and caused the new year to be exceptionally peaceful. During the new year, Hu Juju took the opportunity to return to the valley once. After paying her respects to Li Yuanqing, she made an excuse and returned to the hinterlands of the wilderness. 
That was because the incident with the Wind Thunder sect previously had a huge impact on Hu Juju. At that time, she was helpless against five martial saints. It was Li Yuanqing who solved all the troubles with a single sword strike, which made her feel a sense of anger every day. After returning to the hinterlands of the wilderness, she knew that the Qilin beast had yet to subdue a few beast kings in the hinterlands of the wilderness. Hu Jujio brought the Qilin beast along and went to subdue the beast kings without saying a word. Those who were obedient stayed behind, and those who were disobedient were killed immediately. It seemed like this was the only way to make her feel better. That was how she managed to regain some dignity. That's what made her feel like she wasn't such a lousy person. All the beasts in the hinterlands of the wilderness suffered. Hujujio brought the Chilin beast with her. Within a few days, they had beaten up almost all the beast kings in the area and forced them to submit to the Chilin beast. Because if they did not submit, they would die. Li Yuanqing, who had just returned from the Wind Thunder sect, decided to stay in the wilderness valley since it was too dangerous outside. A small sect like the Wind Thunder sect might not look impressive, but five or six martial saints had appeared all of a sudden. Who knew how many martial saints were hidden in the northern kingdom? There probably will be people more powerful than him. If he accidentally ran out and got tricked by someone, he might even lose his life. Li Yuanqing, who had always been cautious, decided to continue hiding and secretly sign in to accumulate his strength. When he was truly unparalleled in the world and no one could threaten him, he would emerge. Yes, let's do that. After Princess Zhao Yang swept through all the sects and influences within the Northern Kingdom and returned to the Imperial City, His Majesty immediately summoned her. Who was the one who slashed that sword? Was it the martial saint who followed you? It's a blessing to the Northern Kingdom that she's so strong. You must be respectful to her in the future. If she has any requests, the Northern Kingdom will do it for her. On that day, only Princess Zhao Yang and Hu Juju went up the mountain. Those soldiers at the foot of the mountain only knew that that earth-shattering sword strike had split apart the Wind Thunder sect's headquarters. After that, Princess Zhao Yang rushed towards the other factions without stopping. The memorial to report back to the emperor did not mention this matter. In Li Huanjuan's knowledge, only Hu Jujiu was able to strike that sword. After all, many people watched the two of them go up the mountain. In the end, they were the only ones that went down the mountain. Zhao Yang only had the strength of a 7th grade martial artist while Hu Jujio was a martial saint. Although Li Huanjuan had a vague feeling that the person in the wilderness valley had this ability, he felt that he was thinking too much. Impossible. Furthermore, he had an idea. He wanted to take Hu Jujio for his own use or to protect the northern dukedom. He was willing to let her take on the position of a guardian of the country. He did not believe that he could not win over the heart of that martial saint with the power of a country. Would she still follow that unfilial son? As soon as Li Huanjuan said this, Zhao Yang understood her father's intentions. He always placed the country first. All decisions were considered from this point. Hu Jiuju never spoke. My brother struck with that sword to save us. The Wind Thunder sect has six martial saints. Five of them were raised using evil techniques. It's time for the Northern Kingdom to be reformed. If we want the country to prosper, we have to nurture the powerful martial artists of the Northern Kingdom, Zhao Yang coldly said. Although her father had always prioritized the country, the foundation of the Northern Kingdom under his rule was unstable. The Northern Kingdom, which was in danger after it was founded a hundred years ago, could only last for a long time. They had to nurture martial artists who were loyal to the country. Li Wanqing that strike was from Li Yuanqing? That martial saint never talks? Li Huanjuan sucked in a breath of cold air. He wanted to scold this unfilial son in his heart, but he couldn't say it out loud. This unfilial son was truly terrifyingly powerful. He was even more powerful than the Holy Grandmaster who founded the Northern Kingdom. No wonder that martial saint was his servant. Wait, never speak? Li Huanjuan suddenly recalled that the guard who delivered food to Li Yuanqing seemed to have mentioned that Li Yuanqing had once picked up a mute. Could it be this martial saint? Li Huanjuan felt a chill down his spine at the indescribable horror. This bastard, no. How much power was Li Yuanqing hiding? How was he so powerful? When did it start? Li Huanjuan was restless at the thought of the imperial decree that he had issued to cripple Li Yuanqing's cultivation. 
He waved his hand to signal for Zhao Yang to leave first, but Princess Zhao Yang did not leave. Father, I suggest that we increase the number of martial artists that the Royal Martial Academy accepts every year. Moreover, I want to go to the Martial Academy to take up a position. Yeah, approved. Li Huanjuan did not want to say anything at this moment. His mind was filled with Li Yuanqing. How could he be so powerful? He didn't care about what Princess Zhaoyang said. After a few days, Li Huanjuan decided to visit the Wilderness Valley Incognito. This time, he was going to meet that unfilial son. No, the former crown prince, Li Yuanqing. This time, he did not head to the encampment. Instead, he led his men to the Wilderness Valley intending to meet Li Yuanqing no matter what. After all, he had mixed feelings about this prince. Although he was unwilling to do so, he had to build a good relationship with the first prince. He wanted him to feel his sincerity. He had even thought about it. In order to stabilize the empire of the northern kingdom, he was even willing to bow down to the first prince and apologize to him. He was willing to do anything as long as he, unfortunately, before he could even stay in the wilderness valley. Wang Shun anxiously came to see His Majesty and delivered a letter. If the country is not under distress, don't come. There were only nine words in the letter. As the father, Li Huanjua naturally knew that it was Li Yuanqing's handwriting. It was his second time here, but Li Yuanqing was still unwilling to meet him. He even gave him nine words. However, Li Huanjuan immediately felt relieved. Although Li Huanjuan didn't want to see him, the other meaning was that if the country was in distress, he could come and seek help. Moreover, Li Yuanqing took care of Princess Xiaoyang. Every time she came, she would see Li Yuanqing. That way, if the Northern Kingdom was in trouble, he could get Princess Xiaoyang to beg him. If he could not see Li Yuanqing in the future, he could get Princess Xiaoyang to come over. After Li Huanjuan received the letter, he turned around and went to the camp stationed in the wilderness. He stayed there for the night and summoned the garrison general to ask him about the former crown prince. His Highness, the former crown prince, has been very quiet all these years and has never mentioned anything else. Some time back, there was a snowfall in the valley that destroyed a house. Wang Shun and Zhang Quan brought some people to renovate it, and the rest was to deliver food to His Highness every week. This is the arrangement of the menu every time? The garrison general felt that it was a little abrupt. He was fortunate that he had not neglected the former crown prince all these years when he saw his majesty's concern for the former crown prince. He tried his best to arrange the food and drinks properly. He even had a menu. He didn't expect it to come in handy today. All right, ask the two people who delivered the food to him. What does his highness the crown prince like to eat? Make sure to follow the highest standard. If he doesn't object to the renovation of the house, you can change the house without affecting him. Try to make His Highness the Crown Prince live more comfortably. Also, plant more flowers and wood. For the first time in his life, Li Huanjuan was as patient as he was when it came to important matters of the country. He reminded the garrison general to make the necessary arrangements. This was the first time in his life that the garrison general was so shocked that he pretended not to know anything. Over the years, his official position had risen a little, and the pay from the imperial court had increased. In the past, he would still owe some rations, but now, they no longer exist. These changes made his colleagues envious. It should be known that in the past, the annual military pay and wages in this wilderness had always been delayed. Every year, when there wasn't enough grain and fodder, they had to take care of it themselves, but they still couldn't cope with the annual beast tide and winter snow. But in recent years, although there had been heavy snow, the beast tide had disappeared and the army's rations were plentiful. This caused many soldiers in the northern kingdom to view this place as a fertile land, and they all rushed over. Although no one said anything, the garrison general felt that it was right to respect the former crown prince. However, the crown prince liked peace and quiet, so he didn't dare to disturb him. Thus, he nodded his head and quickly got Wang Shun and Zhang Quan to do it. Li Yuanqing was drinking tea under a tree. He had no intention of meeting His Majesty even if he came. Moreover, he felt that he had miscalculated during this trip to the Wind Thunder sect. There were too many hidden experts in the world, and he had to continuously accumulate his strength. 